make no mistake about it, the challenge of modernity is to live without illusions. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, <coughs> FCT, the irrepressible barrister Nyesha Mwike, cannot imagine that in a 21st century Nigeria, the police and Department of State Services, the DSS, do not have tracking equipment for tackling crime and criminals. To boot, the minister had to lend the equipment for use at the headquarters of the police and the DSS. Wiki said he int intimated the president with the anomaly. It can only get better. But the story is here. Let's share it with you. The news of South and Peck has come. Um, we are willing to give it up to them so that they are able to bring in investors who want to establish the other forms of technology as a technology hub. For me, it's not about you being a child. It's about the capacity. It's about contributions. Good there, nothing. Nothing. And you answer the head of the visual technology village. It doesn't make sense to me. Government cannot put the money government should put has been put by providing the, the road the infrastructure. So I think the Minister of Science and Technology is doing quite well, and I can assure you in the next few months uh, people will begin to come in. It's an amazing place. I'm a member of People's Democratic Party. Have you ever seen me change any day? Did uh, did you hear that? Hmm? Yeah, he, he's still a PDP member. Yes. He, he, has he, not, he only took a break. Mm, he has not officially left the party, and uh, they've not found the courage to expel him. Mm, so he's still uh, he's still there. He's still there. Um, flexing his muscles <laughs> and um, is controlling the structures of the party in the state and has found a way to also bring his uh, elements lawyer to him to control the structures of the APC in the same state. Mm. So one individual <laughs> holding on to <laughs> multiple structures of political parties. But uh, let's leave Wiki um, and yeah. talk about the elephant in the room. We expect the police to perform miracles, but we refuse to give them, give the, them the equipment that we need. Yeah. We have the National Assembly Committee on Police Affairs. They come up with budget every year. Why have they prioritized their uh, budget for their community projects over the uh, security of our nation? I mean, it's, 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 it's inconceivable that people will be reasoning like this. Do you because know, the, the, the story is shocking in itself. That's, that's why it's shocking. you... you Admit that, okay, as principal officer, this is what you get mm. for pro, uh, constituency projects. Whether the money goes directly to your pocket or not, it's going to your constituency for projects in your constituency. When people see those projects, they are likely to let you come back. But if you are thinking about the greatest joy of the greatest number, yeah. that's utilitarianism the principle of utilitarianism, then you should be thinking about equipping the police to the point that they can deal with these criminal elements harassing us. Do you know how many meetings we've had in Abuja over the fact that there is a spike in criminal activities in the federal capital? One of the aides of one of the uh, senators, Senator Ned Nwoko, was killed after I was kidnapped. So why wouldn't they say, OK, this tracker that is talking about, the 
IG's response team, the one that uh, Abakiari used to head, yeah, they have it. And that's why you see that Abakiari was very successful because he was able to use those tools. He will locate you. He will locate the criminals and bring them to justice. In real time? Yes. Well, it may not be immediately. You know, they are also constantly moving. Okay. You know, so they don't stay in one place. But in the fullness of time, he gets them. Mm. Ha. So that equipment, if we are a serious country, that equipment should be in all police formations, formations in across, our country. Across the country. Or all uh, state police headquarters. Are you suggesting like that's a head? metaphor for what's going on? at the moment. What is I'm trying to say, what I'm saying is, it shouldn't be something that, okay, maybe just RRS has it or um, the uh, IG's response team. No. It shouldn't be the, the tactical teams of the police alone. I'm saying that every police headquarters, state headquarters, should have such a thing. Do you know what they do? When there is a big crime like that and there is pressure on them, they will now write to the IG and say, please, um, uh, mandate your intelligence response team to help us locate these criminals. They will now begin to use those tools. So why should the commissioner of police in Lagos have to write to Abuja, for example, that ah, some criminals they, they carried out uh, one raid here. We need to get them because the IRT has the tools, mm. the trackers. Can you please mobilize them to start work? It is not a sensible thing to do. You've got to replicate it across the police. Uh, divisions, uh, the uh, police headquarters, state headquarters, at yeah. least you start from there. You can now move to divisional headquarters. That is how we can have a police that is uh, technologically a, driven. A, a truly mobile police. Yes, a police that is nimble technologically, mm -hmm. and that's, that police will achieve results. When they yeah. talk about America offering to help us in locating this boat. It's not as if American troops will come down here. They're not going to put pools on the ground. They are going to provide Technology. equipment that you need. So we've, we've, not, we've not really started this war, honestly. If we want to defeat crime, I like we came for one thing, he will speak his mind. Are you saying that the former FCT minister did not know that this problem was there? Mm -hmm. He did not know. Abi? Mm -hmm. He just chose not to do anything about it. So anything goes. It, it, now we are we are faced with a very big problem of insecurity, especially in northern Nigeria. We don't have the tools. We don't have the tools. Let's not let's not just be blaming police. They are paying with their lives every day. Yeah. But you've not given them the tools that they need. You do not motivate them enough. That's uh, the evidence. Yeah. Even about you know that we are playing catch up in a 21st century world where <clears throat> almost everybody is going e you know sophistry is taking over where we are playing catch up. It's a shame. It's a shame, and uh, like Baba Gita said, it's a good thing that um, so, sometimes you wonder if these stories are true, <laughs> but they are. It's our they're reality. True. True. You know, you know. Sometimes I've asked myself, Sarayda. How could this criminal element have such audacity, such temerity? But because they know mm -hmm. that our police cannot match them hardware to hardware. Yeah. They don't have the equipment. And we're talking about equipment. So imagine a case where equipment were not, you know, were, are, are becoming inadequate. Now, well, let's talk about their emotional quotient. Mm. Because it takes a man who is in his right senses, a man who is thinking right, to face a criminal. So what, what, I don't want to begin to imagine what that area is for the police. The area of their remuneration, their salaries, and how they are taking, they are being taken care of and all of that. This would clearly affect your emotional cushion. You, you transfer a man from Sokoto to say Calabar. Mm. You, you are not thinking, how do we, 
It's, 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 it's very sad. It's sad. It's 